Padres fans, we're here to give you a 360 view and an all-access pass to your San Diego Padres. Here's what we have on deck for today's show. We take a look back at the best of Padres POV for the month of July. We kick it off with Mark Grant testing the knowledge of Reds fans in Cincinnati. Plus, Christian Friedrich pays a visit to the San Diego Madres. And we take one of the newest Padres to go get a pedicure. All that and more now on Padres POV, presented by Saquon. I think I, I, I've never just played baseball to make it to the big leagues. I played it to be the best pitcher out there, and I know I have that in me. How many career hits did Pete Rose have? 4,256. 4,152. 4,256. 400. <laughs> 400, you're right. Another best of Padres POV. I'm your host, Michelle Margot. Well, since San Diego is known for their beers, to kick off today's show, we thought we'd take you all around and show you some of the best breweries in San Diego, starting with Ballast Point here in Miramar. Their roots are in home brewing. They're known for experimenting as true home brewers do. And they're celebrating their 20th anniversary this year, so they've got some rich history. One of the baseball teams with the richest history, the Cincinnati Reds. Let's take a look back at Do You Know Your Team, Cincy Style. Once again, it's time for How Well Do You Know Your Team? We're here in Cincinnati. It's the oldest franchise in Major League Baseball history. Let's check out the knowledge of the Cincinnati Redlegs fans here in Cincinnati. Hey, how about a nice trim on that mustache there? First year of the franchise. 18... Uh, 1869. 18... 90. No. 1912. 1869. 1912? Yeah. I'm no, that was actually the year the Titanic sank. That's true. How you doing? Come on over here. What year did the Reds win back-to-back -back World Series? Uh, 70, it was a 75, 76. That would be 1975 and 76. Can you show everybody what you just looked at? So you kind of cheated, right? A little, yeah. Did you go to Notre Dame? No. Sure you didn't. 1979, 80? No. Okay, I'll give you a clue. I'll give you the first. It was back to back. The first year was 75, so the next year was? 76. Oh, wow, that's awesome. That's great. Do I get two guesses? Spell Ohlendorf. O-H-L-E-N-D-O-R-F. Uh, <laughs> -E Very good. O-L-O-L-D-E-N. O-L-O-L? O-H. I am. <laughs> How many career hits did Pete Rose have? 4,256. 4,152? 4,256. 400. <laughs> 400, you're right. Do they teach this stuff to you guys when you're born, at birth? Is this part of the curriculum here in Cincinnati? Name four Reds mascots. Mr. Baseball. That's Bob Euchre. Um, Rosie. Gapper. What is Gapper? That's a good question. I don't know what Gapper is. I see him, but I don't know what he is. A beaver? A beaver. <laughs> Shotzi, if you want to count Martin. Shots. <laughs> St. Bernard. Shotzi. That's going way back. Red, not a red. Eric Davis. Red. Steve Avery. Not a red. He was. Rob Dibble. Uh, sure. Not. Red. True or false? Reds hosted MLB's first night game in 1935. May 24th, 1935 against the Phillies. I can't stump these people. Name a member of the Nasty Boys. Rob Dibble, Randy Myers, Norm Charlton. You're awesome. Tell you what, smartest Reds fan, I think. Okay, there you go, Friar fans. 
I got to tell you, these Red fans are very well educated on their franchise. They're pretty smart, except for that guy. Well, there you have it, San Diego Padre fans. These Cincinnati Red Lake fans, they're pretty knowledgeable. They know their history. But I ask you, who are the most knowledgeable fans in all of baseball? Padre oh, fans. Yes. Those Cincy fans sure do know their team. Well, now let's take a look at the cool upcoming promotions the Padres have in store for you, the fans, in the month of August. Starting with college night on Thursday, August 18th, when the Diamondbacks come to town. Then, for those of you over 21, Game two of the D-Back series on Friday, August 19th, the Padres will hold Wine Fest. And of course, for giveaways, on Saturday, August 20th, you can get an SD lunch bag or an SD bottle holder. Be sure to come down to the ballpark and support your Padres. Coming up after the break, Christian Friedrich opens up during his visit with the San Diego Madres. Plus, we get to know a different side of this year's All-Stars. You won't want to miss it. You have a free night in San Diego. You have a crew of four guys. Who do you bring and why? I'll go Cargo. He's my boy. I'll go with Tulo. Um, Kawasaki. Uh, I don't even know how to say his first name. But first, let's test your knowledge and see how well you know your Padres. What year was the Padres' best overall batting average? Was it A, 1979, B, 1994, or C, 1998? We'll tell you right after this. Welcome back to Padres POV. Before the break, we asked you what year was the Padres' highest batting average as a team. If you answered B, 1994, you're correct. That year, the team had an overall 275 batting average. Well, because this is a best of episode, let's stick with that theme. Since we were among the best players in all of baseball during All-Star Week, we take a look back when we asked the 2016 NL All-Stars some of their best. Best advice you've ever gotten. Have fun. Don't take the game home with you. Leave, leave the game in the field. Don't give up. Things are never as bad as they seem. Um, have fun. Work hard. Don't slack off. Consider the source. Take it. Take it one day at a time, um, and enjoy everything you know thrown your way at. Best person you've ever faced. Kershaw. I think Kershaw is probably the best pitcher ever faced. I think Kershaw right now. Kershaw. Kershaw. I'd say Chris Sale. I gotta go with Grinky. Miguel Cabrera. Wow. Cargo. Uh, Altuve. Best ballpark. Boston. I played. We got to play there this year. That was a lot of fun. Chicago. Wrigley Field. <laughs> uh, man. Wr Wrigley Field. Um, Petco Park is definitely second. Petco. Best gift you've ever been given. Life. Daughter. Uh, my daughter. Oh my gosh. Love. A lot of love. Probably a, a baseball bat for around Christmas for my dad. How old you? <laughs> Trip to the All-Star game. <laughs> if you could challenge any other All-Star to something, what would it be and why? Ping pong, and because I think I'm the best one in the room, so I would probably challenge him to ping pong. Um, oh. I heard Clayton Kershaw is really good at ping pong, so I guess him, but I keep talking about him. Um, <laughs> so, I don't know. Who else? I'll just Bryce Harper, I guess. I would challenge any of them to a a game of ping pong? Uh, I'd say Anthony Rizzo to um, Home Run Derby, which we basically have every day anyway. You have a free night in San Diego. You have a crew of four guys. Who do you bring and why? I'm going to go with Anthony, just because he's one of my best friends on the team. Probably being my college pitching coach. I'll go Cargo. He's my boy. I'll go with Tulo. You know, I'd probably bring his son, too, because you know his, his son was uh, pretty young when we played, but now he's a little bit older, so I think he could hang with us. I don't know. I don't know. Kawasaki. Uh, I don't even know how to say his first name. Um, Baumgartner, and I'll go with Goldschmidt. Paul Goldschmidt. You don't have to be baseball players. I know, but I was just thinking about him, so that would be my four. <laughs> Pass. Um, and Addison Russell, because he's a good dancer. 
Speaking of all-stars, arguably one of the best midsummer classics was right here in San Diego this past month. Here are some of the best sights and sounds from All-Star Week. Just to see the camaraderie of all the fans coming together, I mean, there's nothing like that. That's, that's baseball. Baseball unites people. I think hitting a home run in an All-Star game is something that you get to remember for the rest of your life, so I'd say that. Might be the premier home run hitter in the National League, and this is belted. Oh, my. I went to a game at the Old Bush Stadium in St. Louis when I was a kid, nine, ten years old. Yo, I sat there at the first base line during pregame batting practice, just yelling, Ozzy, Ozzy, wizard, the wizard. The goal is just go out there, have fun, and the guy that you see during the season, he long balls, like Trombo, even Corey Seager, and the guy next to my leg, who I'm going to face tonight. You know what, every city does a great job, but there's something about San Diego, obviously the weather. You played the weather card right off the top. You can't do that. I think you insult a city sometimes if you just go straight for the weather card. And this game is over. The American League, yet again, will have home field advantage in the upcoming World Series. Still to come, we keep reliever Buddy Bauman on his toes when he gets them done at downtown Nielsen Spa. And Christian Friedrich pays a visit to some of the Friars' biggest fans, the San Diego Madres. I play uh, video games with myself and I pitch against the team that I'm facing. <laughs> <laughs> I put it on easy so I do really well. <laughs> Back here on Padres POV, we continue our best of episode at one of San Diego's best breweries, Stone Brewing in Escondido. It's the 10th largest craft brewer in the nation. They're known for their bold, flavorful, and hop-centric beers. And speaking of bold, Christian Friedrich got up in front of a room full of faithful Padres fans, the San Diego Madres, so that they could get to know who he is off the field. Take a look. First San Diego Madres luncheon, what do you think so far? Have you seen anything like it? A lot of energy. A lot of energy and a lot of fun. I, I definitely wasn't expecting this. Really more open to questions than anything else. It's definitely makes my heart race more than pitching does. <laughs> you have any special game day routines that you follow or? I, I play uh, video games with myself and I pitch against the team that I'm facing. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a good mental image. Um, put it on easy so I do really well. <laughs> They're very baseball savvy, and I was making sure I chose my words carefully when answering some of these baseball questions. Could you comment a little on pitching in Denver and how different it is? I'd say the biggest thing is uh, you know just having a feel for the ball here in San Diego. There's so much humidity. You feel like you have a nice tack on the ball, and you don't lose grip. And uh, the first thing you'll notice, I, I mean, I'm a breaking ball kind of pitcher. I, I like to mix and match all my pitches. And uh, the ball just doesn't have that same sharpness to it. There's a few pitches the last outing I had out there where you think it's going to, you know, go down and into a right-hander, and it kind of just stays there. And you're, you're kind of hoping that <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> leave the ballpark. And the hitters sometimes get fooled on it, too, where they're, they're swinging to a spot, and it actually stays outside. So. Uh, Sometimes it has its advantages. Can you tell us what it was like when you received that call, or how did you find that that you were going to make it to the Bigs? I found out in an unusual way. I was actually doing the radar gun in uh, AAA in Colorado Springs, and I got an email, and it said, congrats, 
you're going to the bigs. I was like, oh, this is an odd. This, this can't. <laughs> this isn't right. You know, like someone's playing a joke. And it was uh, our traveling secretary who had sent out the email before somebody had made the call. And, <laughs> and so it was in the seventh inning, and I was sitting next to one of my good friends who's on the Pirates now. I was like, do you think this is real, or you think this is? Is this, should I call my mom and dad right now? <laughs> it's, it's just fun to be a part of the community. It's, you know, see how these guys care and in and out every game. Whether we're winning or losing, they just always show us full support. So it's definitely nice to show them that you know, we're watching and we, we know they care. You guys are all out there trying, and so we're all out here rooting for you no matter what. Yeah. Good sport, Christian. Well, since Will Myers not only was an all-star, but also a participant in this year's Home Run Derby, we decided to challenge him to our own edition of the Home Run Derby. Check it out. All right, Padres fans, this is a Padres POV edition of the Home Run Derby Challenge. I'm Michelle Margot, and I'm challenging Will Myers. Will, you think you can take me? Probably. You want to make a bet? No. Oh, yeah. No. Okay. I've never played this before, so I can't bet Neither on it. Neither have I. Did you get it? I yeah. Know. That's a bomb. First one. Wow. I know. I didn't expect that. Two for two right now? No, that ain't out. Oh, oh my yeah, god. Right. I don't know because I hadn't hit yet, so oh. there we go. Swing and a miss. There's no way I hit more than five home runs. Are, uh, are you that buff in person, Will? Because yeah. you look yoked on the screen. Get out, ball. Get out. Sick. There we go. There's one more. Should we have given him a practice round, guys? Yeah, heck yeah, are you kidding me? We've got one last out. There we go. If you do come back, I'm gonna be so that pissed. That's all so high. No, that's not out. That's not out. I'll lose. Break the bat. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Yes! Home run derby champion. Mike Trout wins. He beat me. <laughs> Thank you very much. How did it feel to be beat by a girl? I'm not too mad about it because it was a video game, so whatever. You don't think I could take you on the field? No. No, I don't think so either. <laughs> But I'm always rooting for you, Will. Thanks, Either way. appreciate it. Uh, there you have it. I just beat Will Myers in the Home Run Derby Challenge Padres POV Edition. Better luck next time, Will. When we come back, we get to know one of the newest Padres, reliever Buddy Bauman, over a nice, relaxing pedicure. Stay with us. Is this the most feminine thing you've ever done? I'm not going to answer that. So I'm, oh, sure that I'm sure there's that's some, a no. I'm pretty sure that I'm sure there's some feminine things that I've had to do, like wear a dress or something like that in the past. Welcome back to Padres POV. We continue this best of episode at one of the best breweries for Padres fans, Il Smith Brewery in Miramar. This is the only brewery in the world that has a museum dedicated to Tony Gwynn. In addition to the museum, this is also home to the San Diego Pale Ale 394, which is a tribute to one of the greatest players of all time, Mr. Padre. Now to one of the newest Padres, Buddy Bauman, who we hazed the first week he was up in the big leagues by taking him to go get a pedicure. How are you doing? Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Appreciate it. You ready to get a pedicure? I'm ready. <laughs> We're going to do uh, two pedicures side by side, if that's okay. I think yeah. So do you have nothing, you have no idea what to expect? No. Oh my gosh, this is going to be great. Is it? Mimosas? We get mimosas? mimosas? <laughs> I'm sure you've been asked this a thousand times, but because Padres fans don't know you yet, why buddy? I was born George Charles Bauman IV. So, well, yeah, so I'm the fourth George. When I moved to Kentucky, I guess I had always been nicknamed Buddy. But my first baseball team that I played on down there, um, they said you could put whatever name on the back of your jersey that you want. You can put your first name, last name, or a nickname. And I always had a great idea. I was like, hey, why not Buddy? And that's how everybody met me. 
is this the most feminine thing you've ever done? I'm not gonna answer that. No, I'm, oh, sure that I'm sure there's that's some. That's a no. I'm pretty sure, I'm sure there's some feminine things that I've had to do, like wear a dress or something like that in the past. Normally we, we as in us pedicure people, read gossip magazines. That's what we do. We don't we don't chat. Right. Okay. So, this so is, everyone that we're bothering. This right is now. like a library. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is supposed to be people like tranquility yes. for people. Exactly. We're destroying it. Will Myers also got drafted same year mm -hmm. by the Royals. Did yeah. you know him before yeah. you got here? Will yeah. Myers was my catcher in 2010 in uh, in A ball. And Will Myers is pretty much designated just to catch me. I don't know if that was easier to catch or not. Oh. I hope not. But um, but yeah, he was uh, he was okay. He was, he was okay. <laughs> it was his first year catching, so uh, we gave him a little bit, you know, a little leniency. But um, but after that, yeah, no more catching for him. Wow. Uh, I want to be the best. I think I, I I've never just played baseball to make the big leagues. I played it to be the best pitcher out there, and I know I have that in me, whatever my role is, to be the best at that role. And uh, and until I'm there, I don't even think if I'm there, I'll stop like wanting to keep, because there's always someone that wants to take your job. What do you think of the pedicure process so far? I don't know, I've been diving deep into my mind of uh, trying to figure out, like my, or tell you my past. And you want to relax for a little bit? Oh, that's good. I just know that you might fall asleep and then I'm sitting here doing an interview by myself. Yeah. So, who is the best hitter you've ever faced? Uh, I, all right. Um, <laughs> in Double A, I, I was in Double A when uh, Mike Trout was in Double A, so I Jeez. faced him a couple times. Strike him um, out. I actually did. He, <laughs> I guess he got better later on. All right. Well, final thoughts on the pedicure? No, oh, no. I'm, I'm excited to see how it feels on the mound. Uh, my wife will be happy. Well, thank you so much for joining yeah. us. We really enjoyed getting to know you. Well, thank you for letting me in on this awesome date. It's pampering day. Yeah. Pedicures with a Padre. <laughs>